Hi Mark, uh, pleasure to be here as chairman doing the interview today as we've got no no, uh, no press officials here. So first of all from me, well done for last week's win. Uh, obviously at home, uh, got, us back on, got us back on track. And today uh, I thought it was a really, really good performance. I thought in the first, this is my opinion, obviously you, you'll have yours, but I thought in the first half we controlled the majority of it and uh, went in at half time. Uh, well deserving, well deserving the things as they stood. What was your view on the first half? Like? Yeah, I mean, you know, they're, these are a good side. They're a, a, a big physical side, you know, they, and, and our lads had to stand up and be counted. And we've, we've addressed it a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, that, you know, I, I had a big chat with them, uh, said, look, you know, it's time for us to come to the party or we've got to do something about it. And, and to be fair to a lad, the last two games, and particularly today, they've given everything they've got. And you can't ask them anymore. If we'd have lost that game, I couldn't have asked no more from what the lads gave. They put the bodies on the line, they stopped balls getting in the box, they stopped balls being shot at our goal. And when we got us chances, we took them. And that's what's been missing all season. So we're over, we're over the moon. I thought the work rate was phenomenal. Totally agree with you. I think the things that, uh, just, just a couple of uh, particular things I'd like to touch base with you on. First of all, uh, in the second half, uh, it was pretty obvious they were going to come out and, and come at us, which they did. And at times we were really under the cross second half. Great breakaway goal to, to go 2 nil up. And then they absolutely threw the kitchen sink at us. Uh, for me, I just I thought, uh, I know he's our reserve goalkeeper, our backup goalkeeper. I thought he was outstanding today. What's oh, your, yeah, it's, being a goalkeeper yourself yeah, as well. I've you know, never, never any doubt with, with Steno. I mean, you know, he, he, he was happy to come here as number two. And he sat there and waited and bided his time. Mikey's got injured, and you know he's had two great performances now in two games. And today, outstanding, and, and no doubt he contributed massively towards us getting the result in the end. Um, yeah, so we can't can't fault him. A great attitude, a great lad to have around, and and yeah, top performance today from him. Top performance. Uh, Will, th you know, Will thought so, and I think he, he's probably got the vote for man of the match. I I thought, their, uh, I thought their left winger was a good uh, good match though. Did you have any particular plans for him? Because he causes a lot of problems. Well, yeah, today. we got report. We got reports, um, you know, um, about him, and we knew that that he was, you know, one of their best players. Just um, so, so you know, I said to I had a word with Sarge on the bus actually, and said, and then he well, doesn't normally play right back. No, he's, you know, he's a centre mid. He's playing right back, filling in while we've got players missing. And and I just said, all you, all I want you to do today is stop him. And, and I, th I think he let him out his pocket just as we walked off the pitch. So yeah. great performance from Sarge. I mean, it's hard to it's single individuals because everybody's give everything they've got. I can't ask for no more. A special moment for me was during the second half, and, and this is just one moment in the game. We're obviously under the cosh. They've got the goal back, a little bit unlucky, but with the scrambles that were happening, it was probably obvious at some point they were going to score. And I, I'm not going to lie to you, I thought if it goes 2-1, it could well go 2-2. Because, but if fair play to us, the one thing that stood out for me there, a lot of the time during that pressure, we were obviously uh, in clearing mode, and the ball came to uh, Jared, I think he was. He put his foot on the ball, instead of just booting it clear, and he played in, I think it was Bradwell's, and then Bradwell's turned and played in, and, and that was one player actually under the cosh, Jared put his foot on the ball and started an attack, and what a fantastic third goal. Well, that, that's the thing with Jared. I mean, Jared's been, been with me a long while, and so I know what he can do and can't do. And, and the one thing that he is really good at is being a lot of composure and gets his foot on the ball and gets us playing. And, uh, you know, outstanding today. I mean, you know, he's probably one of the oldest players in the side today. And, uh, you know, injury time is bursting through, trying to tread into their box. You know, uh, so, yeah, again, it's hard to single players out, you know. And I have to say this, you know, Nat, Nat pulled his hamstring and, and Nat was playing really, really well. Um, but at half time, we'd got three players that were struggling, that would have all come off had we have had subs. And, and literally, I said to him, look, all three of you go out there, give us as much as you can, and, the, and anybody who can survive the game, um, get through it. You know, and Carl Dixon was the one who survived it. You know, Nard Davis got on, uh, like a golf ball on his ankle and, and, and tried to play through it. Danny Elliott was struggling at half time, but he played through it and gave us everything he'd got. That, that's what we need, that, you know, and that's getting us out there. And I, th I think, you know, I think the lads look at the league table. I think we've got up to 14th from the relegation zone. So, you know, fair play to them; they deserve it. No, that bunch. absolutely. And, and like you say, I think uh, we, we uh, myself and Boatsy, were standing with uh, a Newcastle United fan who's a good friend of Boatsy. He come down today, and he says, "Who's your best player?" And we said, "Well, we're good to have Nat back." I said, "When he's on it, he's good." And and he, he said to us, uh, 
was controlling the game and then he said Mickey's going off and uh, but like you say other people stepped up to the plate. Yeah, so, they did. Uh, you know, and, and special especially Brad, playing up front on his own, you know, we've got all his forward line out there. Brad played up front on his own, he worked he worked his socks off yeah, and, and put a shift in and, and that helps us win the game. You know, and fair play to him, he also got his goal which which was pleasing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just finally, Mark, I've, I've texted, uh, I'm sure you'll catch up with him, I've just texted Tommy and he's absolutely said he's, uh, he's obviously aware at the minute, said he's made his holiday, any message to yeah, Tom? Yeah, no, well I'm going to leave you till about nine o'clock because that's what he does to me when, I, <laughs> when I'm away, so I'll let him swat. <laughs> no, I just texted him and he texted me back straight away, he asked yeah. who man of the match was and I did say the keeper and... Uh, uh, but yeah, he was uh, he was absolutely made up. Just before we just before we uh, return to the bar, Mark, uh, how do we stand for what we're looking at for Tuesday? Then are we looking at obviously we want to get into the next round of the the cup? You 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 obviously got to assess your injury situation. Yeah, we, I, I think it'll be a case of putting out who's available. Um, I mean, uh, we, we've also two lads very harshly have picked up and said booking today. Um, right, and uh, you know, I, I'm, you know, Sergeant, one of them, he got balked. He won the ball. Um, yeah. but that's his fifth booking, so we don't know now if he's suspended for Tuesday or next Saturday. Right. I kind of hope it's Tuesday, if I'm honest. But um, yeah, so I think we'll just assess tomorrow who's fit and who's available, and they'll get a shirt. <laughs> was just talking about that, and obviously uh, there was a few cards. I think some of them were picture related because of the, the conditions. I spoke to Morley before the game, and he said it was pretty bad out there. What was your? What was your? Uh, I mean, we, we're all glad the game play, was played because the obvious scenario, if it hadn't been played, we'd have back, been back up here you on know, a Tuesday I, night. But... I say fair play to fair play to them. You know, they they did their best to get that game on for us, and they even said that they did it so that we didn't have to come on Tuesday night. You know, and I congratulate them for them and thank yeah. them for it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the pitch was heavy. It was, it was you know reminiscent of Colton's pitch a couple of years ago yeah. before we got the drainage sorted. So we were, yeah, and you know sometimes referees need to make allowances for it, and and I felt he didn't. You know, any tackle he could book somebody for he did, and, and we've had a lot of bookings today for. Not, not, it wasn't a bad tackle, a was bad it? Game. No, no, there wasn't any no. bad tackles. So, well, well done today, thank mate. You. But you thank deserve you. a beer. Yep.